Hello everybody, so today um, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that I use for Drawn Below speedrunning. And if you don't know who I am and just think I'm another ordinary days to YouTuber, on speedrun.com for Draw Stickman Epic 2, yes there's a speedrun for it, I've beat Drawn Below in less than 5 minutes. I also hold a... Uh, all the Drawn Below world records. I've also beaten it in under 20 minutes using no glitches. But also, take a second look at my channel name. Second IO. On another note, have you ever heard of Speedrun Man? He speedran this game too. 2703. 2703, you say? Do you recognize anything about the name Second IO? Give me second, second place, place on speedrun.com, speed and I'm gonna take it. Alright, so. I be easy speezy at Drastic Man Epic 2. If anyone could give advice, it would be me. So first of all, um. One of the biggest things that is probably gonna be the most helpful is leaf transport. So. First. Um, you wanna have a way to get the leaf. So. You walk through that ink over there after, um, after going through this door, and then you go over here. Normally, you would need the key, except if you have, if you are a stick, walk up to the door and then switch to a wide character, then you can actually clip through any key door in the game, as well as some other doors, although it's mainly key doors, uh, which, it's mainly key doors that you can clip through and saves a lot of time. Also, here's a tip about mimic chests. A lot of new people don't know how to spot a mimic chest, and it's bad because they're one of the strongest enemies in the game and can tear you up in seconds. So I don't even have a sword because a lot of the time, a lot of the tips you get is that use the sword and if it's a mimic chest, uh, it'll highlight, but uh, this, like the regular chest will highlight. Well, there's a much easier way to identify which one's which. You see, this right here is a mimic chest. These two are a mimic chest. This is a normal chest. Mimic chests, you see how they have like these feet sticking out? The corners of the mimic chests are sticking out. And they're also really battered up. They have scratches and like the box is dented. So, these ones are the Mimic Chests, and this is a normal chest. I hope that helps. While you are on top of walls, you want to use a short character to climb, because apparently they walk on walls a bit better. And then over here is, um, the main glitch I want to show in this video. It's, a uh, Leaf Transport. After the cutscene of collecting the leaf is done, you have a half a second window where it isn't put into your inventory and, and is not cleared when you die. So in that half second window, you want to die before the leaf can be put in your inventory. Into the ink. So here you go. So collect the leaf and run straight into the ink. Now you just have to respawn. And boom, you have the leaf. So this is how you can start with a leaf, and no, this is legit, you see, the the normal room where you get the leaf hasn't been unlocked from the map yet, so, no, you do, you can start with the leaf, you will start with the leaf, at least most of the time. There's a chance that you won't start with the leaf because you didn't do it fast enough and it got cleared when you died. But if you keep trying, you should be able to get it. Also, transport doesn't stop with leaf. You can do this with any item in the game, so long as you find a way to die within the half-second window. You could theoretically transport ice, but you can also transport key, pencil, and hearts. Uh, sword pencil even. And, I guess, egg pencil. Um, here's another tip for you. Um, if you collect the sword from the right, you actually have enough time to, yeah, walk out of that, and you can skip the intro fight. So, when you do leave transport, you can access this heart 
a lot faster, and boom, get a straight heart. That's sick. Also, another tip for you, I went from the foyer to the mine, and if you're a stick, you can actually slip through these rocks and get to the wire room about 30 seconds faster because this room over here takes longer. So yeah, you can get the wire pencil like that. And there's actually a few places where you can slip through rocks. It's really cool. Um, including, uh, including a place where you can, like, get to the ice pencil. Um, here's a tip on how to, how to get past the dynamite thing faster. Um, you can actually do a wall climb if you're the wide care if you're a wide character and you can skip you can save like 10 seconds if you do it optimally. So yeah. Um you don't have to go through that annoying grubby puzzle. And then here you can actually slip through rocks here. Yeah, you can slip through both these rocks and you do not need pickaxe in order to beat this. You can actually also, by slipping through the rocks, uh, you can avoid the boss trigger for the ink rat, for the pit rat, and uh, you can actually skip a boss. By doing leaf transport, you can also, uh, it basically skips King Dragnorth because you don't have to go to his area. And now over here, um, there's this. So, I think, so yeah, you can actually access, uh, the ice room a lot earlier than you are intended. And it's, uh, it's a pretty cool tip. Okay. Cool. So, I'm in a tricky situation. If I run through the, the rest of this ink, I might die. Um, maybe because of the ink, maybe because of the piranha afterward. However, I have a neat little trick. So, I'm gonna watch an ad, although I'm gonna cut the ad out so that you don't have to watch it as well. Back to the game. So, it avoids also, uh, it could also save you an app store trip. So, alright. Huh. Okay. Hold on, I'm wondering, can I... Huh. So yeah, um, here, um, you can get the ice pencil early, and that's pretty cool. So, um, do I have any more tips? Oh yeah, I have another tip. So, you can actually teleport in days too, yep, that's correct. If you log out of Drawn Below and log back in, you can actually teleport. You see, the game saves whenever you collect... The game auto-saves whenever you collect a pencil or enter through a door. So, since my last spot after I entered the door was here, um, I could uh, log out of the game and then re-enter uh, from my last save state. Okay, I have the ice pencil, so you can't do anything now. I'm in, I'm basically, you basically are God with the ice pencil. Um, oh, you can't, you can't kill me. I'm invincible. Oh, here's a, um, okay, come on. Um, there's a really cool trick you can do with the ice pencil and ice. Look at that! What? Um, oh shoot, okay. So, yeah, that's right. You can get rid of ink. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. You, there was no way you knew this before, but I mean, now you do know. If you, uh, connect ice from, if you draw a line from one, uh, from one body of water to a second body of water, 
um, the ice will go all the way through and can erase, like, any ground material, even ink. The ink just gets evaporated. I've known this trick for a very long time, but haven't, uh, showed it to anyone until this video because it's a really cool trick and you can you can actually just erase and you can erase the ground with this trick i mean look at this boom so yeah um that is that is probably one of my uh deepest secrets that i've had from <laughs> drastic man epic 2 yeah just <laughs> So, um, I guess that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. And, um, I mean, all these tips are pretty powerful tips, and I think I could help you if you want to complete Drawn Below.